Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Hey, welcome back. The folks at Texas A&M Corpus Christi are offering a new counseling program for young people and their families. I've got Dr. Jennifer Gerlock and doctoral student Carly Cole here to tell us what it's all about. Okay, CODART. Yes. What does that stand for? It stands for Coping with Death mm -hmm. Through Art. Through Art. Yes, and it's an eight-week group counseling program for children and families that Carly and I have developed uh, based on our own experiences of offering bereavement counseling for mm -hmm. children and families and it's going to be every Wednesday starting in September at the Garcia Center. Let me ask you this because the part that caught my attention was the art. <laughs> I, I, I would never associate helping young people uh, cope with death using artistic kind of things. How does this work? So we're not necessarily using art all of the time, but mm -hmm. it is something that people can use as a way to express themselves and express their loss without having to use words. Because right. a lot of times when you've gone through a death or you've gone through a traumatic experience, it's hard to express that in yeah. language. So yeah. using art or using other techniques really helps kids, especially, and adults to okay. express themselves. Why, let me ask you this, why is it important for kids to process grieving and, and loss like that? Sure, as adults we tend to anticipate death and some of the challenges because we have more life experience mm -hmm. um, and so kind of know what's going to happen as we get older with kids. Right. It's a really traumatic experience, and a lot of times they will have negative mental health, health outcomes that will manifest mm -hmm. much later, um, years later. Sure. And so by getting kind of ahead of the game, we're hoping that our program will help uh, mitigate some of those challenges they may experience. Okay. Help me out here. If uh, I come to one of these counseling sessions, I sign up, and, and I'm, I'm a part of this deal, what would I expect on a typical night? So we'll be providing dinner for the families to come in. Um, we'll do some kind of group family activity so that mm -hmm. the family as a whole can get some kind of um, processing and do some some activity together and yeah. then we'll split off into separate groups so that children can have groups of their own with other kids who've had a similar experience and adults can talk with other adults who've had a loss as well. Okay. And when we say children, what age are we talking about here? Four to 17. Four to 17. With their, okay. with their caregiver. It doesn't necessarily have to be the parent, but their adult caregiver. Okay. So, and that's, I think that's important, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you Absolutely. guys recommend that. All right. Somebody's looking at home going, boy, we could use this. This is going to be great for our family. How much does it cost? It is free. Free. Yes. There you go. That's the fortunate. magic word right yes. there. That's fantastic. All right. So if folks want to sign up, they need to do that pretty quickly. You've got a deadline coming up on September the 13th. Again, it's every Wednesday night, September 18th through November 6th. It's at the Garcia Arts and Education Center. That's over on uh, Agnes Street. You see the building, you will, of course, recognize exactly where it is. If you want all the uh, information and want to know how to sign up, go to our website, ChrisTV.com. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. All right, up next, get your family ready for back to school and a free health fair. We've got details on when and where right after the break.